the way I think of AI right now and what's happened just in the last couple of years with AI is is kind of how the internet was for me, you know, 20, 25 years ago. FarmFest 2025 started with a look to the future. One of the first panels of the three-day agricultural expo was a look at the budding relationship between agriculture and AI. And I really think AI is probably that next thing that's going to just take everything, uh, and agriculture included in that, to the next level. Panelists painted an optimistic outlook. They say AI can be used as a tool in the farmer's toolkit, one that could help them work more efficiently. One of the main questions, though, could AI someday replace the need for some agriculture jobs? I don't think technology like AI or digital solutions in general are going to replace agronomists. I do think agronomists who understand how to use these tools are going to replace those who don't. Several attendees asked other questions at the panel as well. When is the point going to come where we can't keep up with the servers to make it work? It's more of a scaling issue of getting enough enough servers, small servers out in the marketplace to do small demand jobs versus big servers to kind of take in everybody's data at one point. Of course, any new technology presents risks, but there are efforts to minimize those risks. The USDA is funding research into the impact of AI on agricultural production and engineering, as well as on local economies. And at the state level, there's been consistent interest in putting up guardrails on AI with certain legislation. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham.